Welcome back to the defense update series of 10 slide info. In today's video, we'll be seeing three updates on the defense side. The first one is regarding the Russian Su-30 fighter crash. The second update is regarding the induction of Chinese origin main battle tank VT-4 by Pakistan Army. The third update is regarding the India-Australia naval drill which is going to happen in Indian Ocean. So let us begin with the news one by one. As per the sources from Russian Defense Ministry, on September 22, 2020, one of the Su-30 aircraft of Western Military District crashed during a scheduled training flight in Tver region. The plane crashed in a forest and before it started crashing, the crew member managed to eject themselves safely. The Western Military District has sent a team to the site of the incident to conduct an investigation and as of now, there have been no reports specifying the root cause behind this particular incident. The Sukhoi Su-30 is a twin-engine, two-seat super maneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multi-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. Coming to the second update, in order to boost and strengthen their army, Pakistan has inducted the Chinese origin third generation main battle tank which is VT-4. Many senior officials witnessed the demonstration of the new induction and looks like these tanks will be used for offensive roles. We also know that Pakistan inducted the indigenously produced Hal Khalid-1 tank sometimes back and this once again makes it evident that Pakistan is also in full swing to boost their firepower. The VT-4 main battle tank, which is also known as MBT-3000, is a Chinese third-generation main battle tank built by Norinco for overseas export. These tanks have 125mm smoothbore cannon, which is capable of firing a variety of rounds and guided missiles. There is also a remote weapon station on the turret armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The fire control system has hunter-killer capabilities, laser range finder, panoramic sight and a third generation thermal imaging system which makes this particular main battle tank a special one. Coming to the third update, the Indian and Australian navies will conduct a two-day passage exercise in East Indian Ocean region from September 23rd, 2020. A passage exercise is normally undertaken whenever an opportunity arises in contrast to pre-planned maritime drills. The lead ships which would participate from Australia would be HMAS Hobart, which is the lead ship of the Hobart class air warfare destroyers used by the Royal Australian Navy. From Indian Navy side, the INS Shayadri, Shivali class stealth multi-role frigate and INS Karmuk, which is a Kora class corvette would be participating. According to different sources, this exercise is actually to enhance the interoperability improving understanding and implementing best practices. Not just that, these exercises also include weapons firing, seamanship exercises, naval maneuvers and cross-tech flying operations. So these were the recent two updates on the defense side which I thought of bringing via a quick video. I'll make a separate video with more details on each of these topics. Thanks for watching. I'll upload another video with a new defense update or an aviation update later. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it. And also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.